What is up, college football fans? What is up, Clemson Tiger fans? Happy Thursday to everybody. A short video today. I've been getting a lot of questions and comments over the past week or so about the news that uh, former offensive coordinator Brandon Streeter is headed to the University of Georgia in Athens to take on an offensive analyst role. Now, I think, well, I don't think, I know, there's been a misconception based on a lot of the things that Clemson fans, including myself, have said about Coach Streeter over the past at least year, uh, maybe even going back a little bit further than that. Of course, everybody knows Coach Streeter is a former Clemson player, longtime Clemson coach, took over the offensive coordinator position for the 2022 season after former offensive coordinator Tony Elliott took the uh, head coaching job at the University of Virginia. And um, a lot of blame, a lot of finger pointing went on throughout this past season and even the season before, even when Tony Elliott was still the offensive coordinator there, uh, about the, uh, the way that the offense has been performing over the past couple of years. And I think there's a misconception. Now, let me, let me preface, let, let me start here. Was I happy that Coach Sweeney pulled the trigger and let Streeter go? Yes. Was I ecstatic that Coach Sweeney went out and got what I consider to be an A++ home run hire and, uh, and getting Garrett Riley? Yes. Do I blame Brandon Streeter for the offense over the past two seasons? No. Who do I blame for it? Well, that's simple. I mean, the blame always goes to the top in these types of situations. I blame Dabo Sweeney. I also applaud Dabo Sweeney for recognizing that I think he knew he made a mistake and, and, and moving on and going in a different direction. Does that mean that I don't like Coach Streeter? That I think that Coach Streeter is a terrible coach? Of course not. Here's what I do think. I think that he was not ready to be the offensive coordinator at a program like Clemson um, this early in his career. I just think it was too early for him. I think he got thrown to the wolves and he got bit. It's pretty much that simple. And again, I blame Dabo Sweeney for that, not Coach Streeter. But I think in the long run, this is the best thing for Clemson. This is the best thing for UGA. And this is the best thing uh, for everybody involved. Uh, for Coach Streeter, especially. Uh, mark my words. Write this down. Mark it down. What's today's date? 23rd. Today's the 23rd of March, 2023. I believe in the next 12 to probably 24 months, Coach Streeter will either be a permanent offensive guy on the UGA staff or He'll be the offensive coordinator at another major Power 5 program. Um, or he'll be a head coach somewhere. I'm not necessarily in the Power 5, maybe the group of five, but a head coaching position somewhere. This is great. I think that Coach Streeter landed in the perfect situation for his career. I absolutely do. I think with the talent that they have at Georgia, coming off of two national championships in a row, with a, uh, what I'm going to call a mentor and what he's going to be working under Mike Bobo. I know, I, I don't know what the, the, the offensive analyst position, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those fake titles that they give people because they, you know, they can't give them an actual position. And we, we joke around about how they're going to be sitting in the closet analyzing tape. But look, Brandon Streeter is going to be very involved in this offense. Is he going to be on the sideline calling plays? No, that's not going to happen. But he will be involved in this offense. And I think... This is the best thing for him to learn from an experienced, respected offensive mind like Bobo is the best thing that could happen to Streeter. And yes, believe it or not, I think that Streeter is going to have a different philosophy, an outside philosophy that maybe Georgia hasn't seen in a while. And he may be able to bring some ideas to the table. And this is the reason they brought him in there. This isn't charity. Uh, Kirby Smart didn't go out and get Brandon Streeter because he felt bad for the guy. He knows that Brandon Streeter has a lot to offer to the program, both now and possibly in the future. So this is a, it's a win, win, win all the way around. And I wish Coach Streeter nothing but the best. But going back to Clemson, 
and the way this whole thing happened with Elliott and Streeter. The reason Streeter didn't work out at Clemson, in my opinion, number one reason, like I said, him just not being ready to take on that role at this point in his career. It was just too early. Uh, it was an experiment that failed, basically. And there's a lot of blame that went around, you know? Was it Streeter's fault? Was it Dabo's fault? Was it the personnel? Was it injuries? I mean, there's been, you can, there's 10 different reasons you can name why Clemson's offense went from one of the best in the country for, for almost 10 years running to right in the middle of the pack on, in Power 5 football, right? Right around, what, the 60th ranked offense or something or average over the past two years. Shit, the year before that was even worse. But there's a lot of blame that goes around. But Streeter was just a regurgitation, just a continuation of what Tony Elliott was doing. And what Tony Elliott was doing towards the end of his stint at Clemson just wasn't working for Clemson and their personnel. And Streeter continued that trend. So that's the reason I believe that him heading to Georgia is, is the best thing for everybody involved and also probably most importantly, the best thing for Coach Streeter. The fans outside of the past season really love Coach Streeter as a person and as a coach. The players, uh, every player that's played for him at Clemson has nothing but great things to say about him. All of the coaches that he's ever worked with have nothing but great things to say about him. And again, I don't think that, that that's going to change at the University of Georgia. I think the fans will grow to like him. Um, I know the coaches will grow to like him. And I also know that the players will grow to like him. So there's my thoughts on Brandon Streeter. You know, a lot gets lost in translation, especially on a YouTube channel like mine. And the reason is, is because there's a lot of trash talking and ribbing that goes on and certain people don't know the difference between ribbing and trash talking and being serious. So I want to eliminate all the ribbing and trash talking and give you my, you know, my unedited raw pure thoughts on, on this move here. So there you go. Have a great day, everybody, and go Tigers.